Give me a little dog. Hi guys. It is a spectacularly gorgeous, over the top beautiful spring flower filled day here in the end times and doomsday trailer I got to head off again to do some dragging sticks and dealing with uh, mercury and retrograde uh, anybody who has never been a real estate investor dealing with mercury and retrograde has no fucking idea the unadulterated horse shit uh, that, that I'm dealing uh, with down here with this bullshit where I, I guess the entire computer system in Hernando County, Florida has uh, crashed. They don't have any idea when the they don't know what's going on the entire county of Hernando County is in absolute panic today trying to get their computers uh, up and running and uh, but anyway uh, everything is fucked a everything that I have been working on for weeks uh, how, how many goddamn hours have I spent probably hundreds of dollars uh, anyway so while I deal with this I'm thinking, okay, Hambo, and, and, and the dog has a, the, this mysterious hurt leg. I have no idea what's going on with Sancho's leg, de dealing with that shit. And I said, well, at least you're going to be able to turn on the mainstream media and not have to read about these fucking eclipse morons. The fucking eclipse is over. They have to think of something else to distract us with. And uh, I open up the, the, the goddamn uh, mainstream media to get a little distraction from Mer Mercury in retrograde, and what do you think today's mainstream media? Pretty much all it is is yesterday's eclipse, the eclipse roundup. And I'm thinking, oh my God, does, it, does this shit ever end? But I have to admit that I did find a, uh, a few stories that... Uh, I have to admit, this is uh, my uh, my eclipse roundup. Uh, pediatrician on the way to see solar eclipse dies after falling out of her Airstream trailer. There you go. A renowned pediatrician died after falling out of her Airstream camper on a New York highway yesterday uh, while on her way to watch the total solar eclipse with her family. Dr. Monica Waranaka, age 58, fell out of her 2024 gray airstream these things probably cost a hundred thousand dollars for brand new airstream that was being towed by a pickup truck her husband was driving according to the state police uh, there you witnesses behind the airstream claimed they saw the passenger side door open Monica Waneka's arm hanging on the door after the wind caused the door to swing open, causing her to be thrown from the airstream. The doctor's head hit the shoulder of the roadway. She was later pronounced dead at the hospital. So there you go, the last thing uh, that, that she ever did uh, was go see an eclipse in her brand new Airstream trailer. 
I bet that woman will never try to go see an eclipse again. Uh, and here's someone else in the great state of Texas. Man who attended Burnett, Texas Eclipse Festival dies. Huh. This, uh, a man who attended the Texas Eclipse Festival in Burnett County is dead. 67-year-old man was not identified. Oh, so he died, I guess. this. So I, I, I couldn't quite figure this out because there are all of these uh, other stories talking about how the Texas Eclipse Festival was canceled over weather hours before the eclipse. This is insane. So apparently 30,000 people had flocked to this uh, big three-day festival, I guess it was, outside of Austin in the town of Burnett, Burnett, Texas, uh, building up to the eclipse yesterday. 30,000 morons, including one who dropped dead uh, on, on Saturday, and then uh, three hours before the eclipse, they canceled the festival and ran everybody out of the uh, fairgrounds because of the threat of tornadoes. There you go. Uh, your safety is our top priority. Yes. Uh, this is one of the, the, uh, eclipse morons all pissed off. People are flying in here from everywhere, like New Zealand. There's a ton of people from Europe and Australia. I'll see people that haven't gotten their tickets yet, and they are driving from Seattle. It's crazy. Yes, the Burnett County Sheriff's Office said it was expecting a surge of traffic in the county following the cancellation. Yes. Uh, there you go. Attendees will receive a partial refund, the festival said. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, let's see. Uh, what do we got? We're going to do two more. I could do a hundred. All right. The eclipse is over. Hello. The eclipse is over. Now, here is what to do with the special viewing glasses you don't need anymore. Yes. Uh, now that daytime stargazers across the nation uh, have had their fill of the last total eclipse in solar eclipse in North America for the next 20 years, it is time to ditch those safety glasses. Yes. This is a message from the New York City Office of Emergency Management. After you have used your glasses, the best recommend, recommendation is to donate them. Uh, donate them? Donate Eclipse glasses. But if you choose to recycle them, make sure the protective film is punched out, the agency recommends. Yes. Uh, 
How many of these things do you think are going to end up on the streets and in landfills? Millions of glasses were donated after the 2017 eclipse, which Sancho and Ponza and I witnessed in 2017 during our Bigfoot hunt. We did not get any glasses. Uh... So you can donate them to Astronomers Without Borders. There are a lot of underserved communities that just don't have access to this safe eyewear. So we have been providing hundreds of thousands of glasses across the world for places like Chile, Argentina, Ethiopia, Sri Lanka, and the Philippines. Um, and through the end of July, Eclipse Glasses USA will be taking donations that will go to children in Latin America nations for an annual October eclipse in the Southern Hemisphere. Right. Another viable solution is just hanging on to them for the next main solar eclipse event on August 23rd, 2044. Yes. And then another total solar eclipse will occur on August 12th, 2045. So we're going to have two of these goddamn things uh, in less than one year. Let me tell you where the solar eclipse is going to be rating on people's things to think about in the years 2044 and 2045. Uh, I can guarantee you the solar eclipse not high on the registry but uh, if you thought it was safe to go uh, back into the Marana scene and you thought that the Marana scene had been declared over well guys I hate to tell you yesterday was just the beginning here from the New York Post the eclipse was not, was not the end of drama. The biggest astrological event comes later this month. It ain't over, folks. While much fanfare has been made about the emotional effects and havoc while much fanfare has been made about the emotional effects and havoc of yesterday's total solar eclipse and the communication breakdown of Mercury retrograde in Aries, uh, communication breakdowns while uh, Mercury has been in retrograde in Aries. Do you think so? The best and worst is yet to come. On April 20th, Uranus, on April 20th, Uranus, the planet of chaos, freedom, change, and lightning will meet up with Jupiter, the planet of expansion and growth in the stalwart landlocked sign of Taurus. So you have the planet Uranus, Uranus meeting up with the expansion and growth of Jupiter. There will be a meeting on April 20th and you will be fucked. If you think that you have been ass fucked yet, 
whatever's going on in Hernando County, Florida, and in Mercury and retrograde, uh, just, uh, anyway, uh, kiss your ass goodbye. During a conjunction like this, the energies of the two planets combine, amplifying the qualities of both. When the wild out planet of sudden change meets the forces of fortune, the results are bound to be dramatic and breakthroughs and breakdowns are nigh. Yes, according to astrologer Jessica Davidson, Jupiter Uranus alignments represent periods of growth and disruption in multiple areas, including breakthroughs and innovations in science and technology. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Uh, but what happened the last time uh, this happened? The last time Uranus and Jupiter danced cheek to cheek was in 2010 in the sign of Aries. That conjunction coincided with the Arab Spring the WikiLeaks release of documents that derailed American war crimes and the launch of SpaceX. So what can we expect? Uh, is it going to be in Aries or Taurus? Now I'm confused. First they uh, acted like it was, oh I'm sorry, in Taurus. So, uh, it's not going to be in Aries. I read that wrong. Uh, all right. Uh, I'm sorry. That was uh, when this happened last time, but it was in Aries instead of Taurus. This time, it's going to be in Taurus. Uh, the last time this particular conjunction took place was in May of 1941. Uh, the cycle coincided with the end of the Blitzes, uh, the birth of the radical and radically popular Bob Dylan. There you go. So we had uh, World War II and the birth of Bob Dylan uh, the last time this happened. Uh, the effects of this conjunction will be felt for several weeks at afterward is Taurus is a fixed earth sign. Uh, we will likely see change, growth, and unrest in areas related to the earth itself. Uh, the, earthquake, the earthquake last week was a symbol of what is to become. Uh, there you go. Uh, keep your head up and your mind open. Change is afoot and there is freedom to be found when everything falls apart. There you go. There is freedom to be found when everything falls apart. And that is the bottom line. Hopefully the last comment on the uh, morning after in the Morana scene. Oh God, but I am uh, heading out to drag sticks Waiting for my third estimate. I now have two estimates right in at two thousand dollars to uh, come haul off this brush pile. Two thousand dollars. 
to haul off a fucking brush pile. <sighs> While we sit around waiting for Mercury to get out of retrograde. But uh, I, 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 I'm already fucked on this thing down here in Florida. Weeks of fucking work going into tomorrow for it to fall apart yesterday when Mercury goes into fucking retrograde and the entire computer system for an, in, an entire county goes to fucking shit two days uh, before I need it. It fucking God, I'm so sick of this bullshit. Get out there and enjoy the rest of Mercury and retrograde while you still can. Bye, guys.